the sound of hitting a football thrilled me. Now, my playing career is over. I'm very fortunate I'm a manager, and I'd like to remain one. It's just simply so I can hear a football being struck. I think that I've got qualities as regards coaching. I think that's what I ought to be doing. I don't want to see the ball still. If it's one touch, we play it off one. A lot of managers run before they can walk. I think that the whole business is based on fear anyhow, and therefore if you're having a little bit of a good run and a job comes, get out now whilst you can. And probably that job's the worst possible job that you could go into. Hiya. I would like to feel that I could be responsible for helping to create a club to be successful, but at the same time as it being successful, set standards that are worthwhile, that are good ones. Hey, hey, come on, get crap in this club! All right, the chap, that's what, oh, you've bought one of these books, haven't you? It was the Watford family, whether you were a player, whether you were one of the ticket staff or whatever. This it! We all mucked in together and it was just the most amazing place to be and Graham created all of that. Football is a simple game. It's not a sophisticated game. It's a, it's a game for the man on the terraces. It's a game to excite the people. Oh, lovely skill. Oh, what a magnificent goal! I've worked with a lot of professional people and he ranks up there. That's the sort of person he is I couldn't paint. I'm always uh, full of admiration for him. Never ceases to amaze me. He's mentioned about the passion that he has for Watford Football Club and football. Well, of course, I like to feel that I have the same passion. And I think on that basis, you'll get a very good relationship. What you should have been saying is saying something early. Talk to him. All right, let's go again. So here we are now in the FA Cup for the first time. It will never be the same again. Villa's latest manager, Graham Taylor. He's come from First Division Watford, the club he took from... I'm putting my reputation online and people might turn around and say, what a foolish thing to do, but that's what makes me tick, I suppose. Big clubs can slide all the way in. If you can alter that slide and stop the decline, then the chances are they'll come back that little bit quicker because they are a big club. I want international footballers to enjoy playing international football. If there are any youngsters who are watching, you can get a position that Gary Lineker's got, who is now the captain of his country. But you have to keep working hard. I've got an 83-year-old mother-in-law that wants his autograph. <laughs> he had a passion for England. He's given most of his life to English football. He was just straight down the middle and told it as it was, and some people didn't like that, but I loved it. I certainly admired that. Bitterness doesn't come into it, but what comes into it, I wanted so much to be successful. I wanted us to win the World Cup. Perhaps that was foolish to think about that. Immediately leaving the England job, I needed a period of, of recuperation. There would only be a handful of clubs that I would have come back into football for. It's my job to try to make sure the morale of the whole club stays high. If you give it a real go and you lose it, don't let's worry ourselves too unduly about it, because you may just surprise yourself. At the end of the day, when a ball is kicked, when a game is played, when you're in on a football pitch, I just have a feeling in the pit of my stomach that this is where I belong.